so you can see this one they say this is discrete random variable only for 0 1 2 3 so we only have three random variable and this is our cumulative you can see adverse half. so our table come out will be in cumulative value they already long gotten okay so how is going to be to read here x less than zero zero then this is k k zero one two so what's meaning by this when k is zero means your interval will be zero when k is zero then on zero plus one it will be one so when k is one so your interval will be one then equal to two then when k is equal to two it will be three so this is the interval that want to means here how's their cumulative so their cumulative also depends on their k so when k is zero means our cumulative here is zero plus one is one ah. one time one over six so they are cumulative as much as 1 over 6. So when k is 1, when I put here 1 square, it will be 2. 2 times 1 over 6, it will be 1 over 3. So when k is 2, k is 2, I put here k square will be 4. 4 plus 1 will be 5. So 5 times 1 over 6 will be 5 over 6. So we already details up their interval here. Different situation for the k, it will have different situation of their interval and their cumulative respective cumulative so you want to find the probability distribution function you know f kecil so daripada f besar to kaja di f kecil kita kena tolak lah daripada table okay so we build up our table first so this is our table involving f besar okay we read the interval yeah before zero before random variable zero probability f besar kosong so we will come to the interval so for interval equals to zero before one uh, which is equals to zero before one means will be in this table so their probability cumulative is one over six then the next interval equals to one before two less than two less than two means before two equals to one means it will be here our cumulative is one over three and then equals to two before three it is five over six lastly otherwise uh, means line line satu okay so how are we going to find our probability distribution function f uh, we're going to minus to the left hand side so tolak satu per enam tolak satu per dua then minus so lastly we don't have anything to do uh, this is how we get back our f we're going to minus from right hand side go back to left hand side then we will summary out how we're going to read this function because they want function they don't want table so we must write our answer in function. So in our probability distribution function, we have probability 1 over 6 for random variable 0, 1, 3. And then uh, what else? We still have another probability which is 1 over 2 for random variable 2. So don't forget we have 0 for otherwise. Means others random variable will not involving at here. They will, they will have probability 0. 